any video sharing fan will recognize this song Pran was switched, featured by Matt Harding in his YouTube sensation Where the Hell is Matt. It is so popular that within two months the, this new video received well over 11 million hits. Matt Harding is a former game programmer and travels around the globe a lot. He used to dance near famous monuments and then post those clips on YouTube. Later this idea evolved, he started dancing with people all over the world. The universal or inclusive message of the video inspired many. This video was shown in CNN, NBC and other major networks. Even Jon Stewart the comedian featured it on his November 6th episode. It was shown after he talked about Kenyan celebration over President-elect Obama. I'm glad to say Matt Harding and the vocal behind Pran uh, Palbasha Siddiq is here with me. Matt, my first question to you is, how did you learn about Pran? Uh, the last thing I expected a Bangla music making its way into the American or the global musical mainstream. Um. I first learned about the poem by uh, Takur uh, from my composer who made the, the music for the song, and his name is Gary Scheiman. And he and I were discussing what to do with lyrics. We were really uh, stuck, even as close to um, a month or so before the video was supposed to be up on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, we were struggling with uh, what we were going to do for lyrics because neither of us are <laughs> lyricists and, and, and knew and, and, and in looking at the video neither of us could imagine what we could write that would feel appropriate uh, and he uh, I, I had suggested finding something in another language because we'd used other languages in past videos and he thought of uh, Takur who he was familiar with mm -hmm. uh, he suggested to me uh, re looking at his poetry and I, and I found English translations of uh, oh, again, please forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, but Gitanjali, his, uh, his... That's perfect. ...poems. Mm -hmm. uh, and I read through that, and the, uh, the poem titled Stream of Life, in English, uh, really stood out to me as embodying what I wanted the video to be about. And the Stream of Life, again, in the English translation, which I believe is, is not a literal translation of the Bengali, or Bengla, mm -hmm. uh, it, it just talks about um, the dance of life, uh, the renewal mm -hmm. and, and circle of life, and, and about how uh, it flows through everything that is alive, dance being a universal thing. And uh, it just seemed, it was so perfect that mm -hmm. it, it kind of seemed like, a, a sort of, I'm not very spiritual, but it seemed sort of predestined that I needed to find this poem. Because it was, uh, you know, it was just sort of an offhand suggestion. It was the only suggestion Gary had, and it was absolutely perfect. Uh, so we picked that poem, but I'd never heard it spoken in, in its original language. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a, a bit of a leap of faith going there. We, we <laughs> hoped that it would sound as good as, as it did in English. And, um, and then we had to find Paul Basha. That was the next step. Mm -hmm. How did you find Paul Basha? <laughs> Well, uh, once we found the poem and we wanted to get it sung in, in its original language, uh, we hit uh, the, the brick wall of how do we find a singer who can sing it. And <laughs> is it appropriate to call it Bengali or Bangla? Uh, Bangla. 